Travis Rudolph. Now, I haven't covered this because it's a lot and the case is still going on. And usually what I like to do is I like to talk about stuff after the verdict because I like to break it down after having all of the facts and everything like this. But you guys have been asking me to address this and everything like that. So uh, Travis is accused of killing a man in Florida. All right. In April 2021, which was basically two years ago. Flor the former Florida State University and New York Giants wide receiver tried to claim a stand your ground defense in the first degree murder trial. So Florida, we all know the stand your ground law. Uh, but here's the question that we really have to ask ourselves as we have in this conversation. What role did women play in him basically getting arrested, messing up his career and messing up his life, regardless of whether he was free or not, regardless of whether or not he get off? Regardless of whatever happened in this trial, what role? That's the bigger thing that I'm trying to concern myself with is because how did we find ourselves in this situation in the first place? It's not enough to just look at it and say, well, is he innocent or is he guilty? Because he's already messed up for the rest of his life, whether he go to jail or not, because he'll never be able to make the type of money that he could have made. Could have made. He'll never have the type of life that he could have had. And... Basically, what they're saying is that he had gotten into a fight with his girlfriend at his house uh, in West Palm Beach, and it escalated when four men confronted him at his home. OK, uh, it said he grabbed a gun and then he shot at the group as they ran off. Got into a fight with his girlfriend at his house. When you remove the bullshit, you ain't even got to deal with it. At the center of 90% of men who fall on their sword, whether you arrest it or you fumble the bag, at the center of it is a woman that you should not have even had in your presence in the first place. And y'all telling me in the chat that she was married. At the center of Every man, guilty or not guilty, is always a woman that should have never been in your presence in the first place. Why do y'all have these ratchet holes around y'all, spend an extended amount of time around y'all? But I want to play his testimony uh, and I want to get into it. So make sure, again, these likes isn't, please don't make me go to a teach commercial. Please don't make me go to a teach commercial just because y'all have not hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you get your teach, 30% off your first order, and plus we got some additional new gifts that CT just sending out. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I do not want to hit y'all with the teach commercial, but I will. I definitely will hit y'all with the teach commercial without even thinking twice. Without even thinking twice, I will hit you with the teach. All right? I do want you to get your teach pack, but I don't want to overwhelm you. But if we have to take an interlude just because y'all haven't hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, that's going to be a problem. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the show. I'm going to expect for y'all to actually do that while we plan this. And what happens when you get inside? Um, when I go inside the house, Dominique's standing up with my phone in her hand. And she asked me, who's Kyla? Kyla? Yes. K-A-Y-L-A? No, K-Y-L-A. K-Y-L-A, okay. And who's Kyla? Who is she? Um, that was a friend that, um, that I met in Tallahassee. Okay, so if this woman is married, like y'all telling me in the chat, because obviously when this, when this jury trial is over, we don't mine out this whole thing. Shout out to the lead attorney. He is doing a phenomenal job of watching this and breaking it down. Um, that's my guy. If this woman is married, why is she even in a position to question what is in his phone in the first place? But apparently y'all saying it's his ex-girlfriend. Cool. We going to continue down, down this path. Let's continue. And <clears throat> what was she asking? Why was she asking who's Kyla? Um, I, from my knowledge, she went through my phone and she seen me and Kyla texting each other. What was her attitude like? You say what now? What was her attitude like? Um, I could tell she was mad. Oh, how can you tell? It's just how she asked it. And then, like, I went to, like, try to reach for my phone, and she, like, kept it away from me. So I can tell she was mad. All 
right? <clears throat> and what did you say when she asked you who Kylo was? So she going through his phone. He dealing with a chick that he not even supposed to be dealing with in the first place. He's single because he ain't married. Remember, the same standards apply. Either you're single or you're married. He's single. He ain't married. She going through his phone getting jealous. She married. And now she trying to figure out who this other chick is that he's talking to. It ain't your business. It's whoever it is that I want to talk to. Um, I told her let's go in the room and talk because I knew my brother was going to. And legally separated don't mean anything to me. You still married. You got a whole nother dude's name on your, on your last name. Come inside like shortly after me. So I was like, let's just go in the room and talk. You don't want your brother in your business? Correct. And what, what did all hell break loose then? Yes. Tell us what happened. Please. Um, so the next thing that happened was basically we go in the room. Um, she still was asking me who Kyla was, and then she FaceTimed her. And when she face, how did she do that on your phone? Yes, on my phone. Your phone was working. Yes, it was working at this time. When she FaceTimed her. What did she do? Um, she angled the phone to where as if it's just me that called her. And uh, mm, these hoes is crazy and they sneaky. So basically, what he's saying is, uh, she went through his phone, and she realized that whatever he had another chick. Cool. So it ain't no crime. It ain't no crime for a dude to have a, another chick on the side. But obviously, you you know, you're going to be dealing with whatever you're going to be dealing with. All right. And then she did the FaceTime. So she hit him with the, hey, you know, she hit him with that. She, hit, she FaceTimed her and then she put it on him to see what the response is going to be. So she, you know, she was asking for trouble. She was asking for it. She was trying to create a fight. She was trying to create a situation. If you in a space, let me say this. Ladies, if you are in a space where you think that a dude is not moving according to however it is that you want him to move, you shouldn't even be there in the first place. If you don't trust him, then don't sit here and start a fight with him. Just get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Because she never planned on leaving anyway. You know why? Because he's Travis Rudolph. Wide receiver. West Palm Beach, Florida. Basically, she had it set up, and I guess she was looking for answers or something. And um, me and Kyla had a short, brief conversation. And then after that, she was just like, you ain't shit. So, first of all, I'm not the type of nigga that's built for anybody to take my phone and then tell me what it is that I'm going to do. And I'm going to be having conversations while you hold the phone in my face like this and shit. I am not the type of nigga that you're going to be... <laughs> I ain't never doing that. Shout out to Tech Geek. I appreciate you definitely going to be reading that super chat. I am not the type of dude that you're going to be holding no phone in front of my face, FaceTime and trying to, trying to discover whether or not I'm cheating on you or not. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? I wish you would put the phone up to my face. I slap that phone out and, and put you out. I'm not about to be sitting there having a but, but. Fuck around and found out. Fuck around and found out. Okay, let's continue. Um, Dominique said that, I'm saying. And also, let me add in one more thing. You can tell he not lying. You Listen, you call him an asshole, say that he cheated, whatever it is that you want to say, but he's not lying. Conversely, which is much different than what she was looking like on the stands, you can tell that this dude is telling the truth. He looked defeated. He understand that, yeah, I was a simp. I was out there talking to my phone and all of this other type of stuff. He not lying. Did you hang up the phone or did she let you? Yes, it, the, the, the phone hung up. She hung up. Yes. He was testing you to see who Kylo was? Yes. Why would you even participate Testing me. I mean, it, like I say, it wasn't nothing to hide. And... And I was just like, all right, you want to go do that? Do that, pretty much. He probably, But then again, he probably was letting it play out because he like, well, maybe this is the opportunity for you to just leave and get the fuck out and I ain't got to worry about you no more. I don't know. But ain't no woman ever going to put no, no phone up to my face talking about talk to her. Okay. So you figured no big deal? Yeah, no big deal. At the end of it? No, it wasn't. What happened then? So after she said you ain't shit, um, I asked her, I was like, you doing all this? Let me see your phone. Mm -hmm. And that's what a turn of events. When she started spazzing out, she started hitting me. Shout out to James Brown. I'm going to be reading that shortly. 
hit me on my head. And how was she hitting you? Um, hard. Like she was like trying to hurt me. Why, why don't you hit her back? I mean, I don't believe in in females. My mom hey, I like this lawyer. He said, "Why you ain't hit her back?" Equal rights deserves equal lefts, in my opinion. Let me say that again. Equal rights deserves equal lefts, in my opinion. Mom always told me that if you ever get to the point that you want to put your hands on a female, just leave her. Just leave the situation. And are you defending yourself, like blocking her, or what are you doing? Yeah, blocking her. Like, basically balling up pretty much, because I knew she was mad, so... At that time, I took it as, like, maybe I deserved it because she seen me texting her. Deserved to get hit? I mean, that's how I took it, I guess. Yeah, because he was fucking on another chick, so he was taking an L, and he was letting her get her mad energy off, and you never going to put your hands on me. But neither here nor there. Basically, his mother taught him how to be a simp, and she had no respect for him because I don't care what happens. You keep your fucking hands to yourself. But... We seeing this. The one thing that we can say, we can say he is simp. We can say that he shouldn't have been fucking with her in the first place. All of this other type of stuff. You can't say that he lying. You can't say that he lying. Yes, because that's like I said, it, it was just a respect thing at that time. So I just felt like, well, she felt like I was texting this girl, and that's disrespectful. So, how about a Valentine's Day? Do you think you deserve to get hit then too? No, nah, not that time. Why didn't you just leave? <laughs> not that time. Um, like I said, I love hard, so I just. Her good outweighed the bad. It's just that's just what it was. But yes. All right. So she she's she's hitting you and uh, using any objects or just her hands. Um. Well, actually, before she she hit me, I forgot to say this point. She threw my phone like and just like broke it. Like where, where'd she throw it against something? You no, know, she threw it on the ground. Like I had like this like tile floor, and she In threw your it. Your bedroom. On. Yes. And did you pick up your phone? I don't think no, nobody is blocked that I know of. So if you can type in a chat, her body tag, because I can see your, your, your thing in the chat. Might be just something wrong with um, YouTube or how it is that you got it set up with YouTube. But she threw his phone on the flow, tore his stuff up, destruction of property, you in my crib, tearing my stuff up. And then now uh, I got to subject myself to your, 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 your rage. Okay. Yes, I, I picked it up. And like, man, you really just broke my phone. And How do you know it was broke? I looked at it. The screen cracked. It's black and everything. Like you can't even like open it. You couldn't see the the screen at all. No light would come out. No. You know if it was still receiving calls? No, I don't know. I I didn't think it was receiving calls because it's broke. Like you can't even see the phone. You shut it off, or there's no way to do that. No, I don't, there's no way to do that. Cause how this iPhone set up, you gotta like press the one of the side buttons and then a volume button. And then you got to like swipe the swipe. Reading Super Chat shortly. Shout out to Spaces. They're on the screen, so. You couldn't do that at the No. Time? No. All right, so what happens after she breaks your phone? Do you hit her or does she hit No, you? that's when she started like hitting me and everything. And then in the midst of that, she had like. So it wasn't enough for her to throw your stuff and break your stuff. Now she got to start putting her hands on you. I don't understand this thing with black women. Why do black women feel compelled to be able to put their hands on men? I can't figure it out for the life of me. Why? Who taught y'all that that was okay? When did that become culturally okay for y'all to put y'all hands on men? I don't care what is happening. I don't care if you right. I don't care if he right. I don't care if you wrong. I don't care if he wrong. I don't understand for the life of me why y'all feel compelled to put y'all hands on people. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all take people's stuff and tear it up? And I, I that that right there. It's a lot of things that I can tolerate. It's a lot of things that I'm willing to deal with. The thing that I'm not willing to deal with is you keep your goddamn hands. The very threat of the response, if you put your hands on me, is going to be enough to keep you from putting your hands on me. And it's not enough dudes. It's too many of y'all out here telling women, my mom, I would never hit you. Or my mom, no, she needs to understand that there's the threat that if you put your hands on me, I will defend myself. And not only will I defend myself, I will, de I will defend myself vigorously. Vigorously. And if she understands that, then she's going to think twice or she's going to completely remove the possibility that she can throw your stuff, that she can put your hands on you. Man, my chick ain't never going to put her hands on me. She never have. She never will. She ain't built like that. 
Man, I'm not about to sit here and de-escalate with you. I will beat your ass if you put your hands on me. Flat out, I will defend myself because I feel like my life is in danger. And if you put a, if you put a finger on me, it's over. I'm just going to tell you, listen, y'all can say what y'all want to say. Anton like to kick girls in the titty. You goddamn right. If you put a hand on me, Picked up a trophy and like hit me on the top of my head with it. Did you hit you full force or was it partial force? Yes, it was full force. Mm. Did you get injured or not really? No, it, I didn't get injured because I pretty much braced for it. I seen it coming. Did, did you try grabbing her and stopping her or what'd you do? Yeah, I tried to grab her. Like after she did, I'm like, Dominique, stop. And then she put a trophy down. And then that's when she got her stuff and she was like walking out. Of my room. Did she act like she was injured and uh, she couldn't hit you or anything, or is she she pretty much pretty strong at that point? Yeah, she's pretty strong. Did you ever hold? And these women is big now too, bro. They ain't the little small petite ones no more that can't hurt you. These women is big, big. Like they big and strong, and they like fucking linebackers. They eat different. They got these GMOs in their food, man. Hold her hostage and tell her she can't leave your room and block her from leaving? No, not at all. Did you start raising your voice during this time period? Um, yes, because uh, she's like, fuck you, broke ass bitch, and <laughs> you a fuck nigga, and all things like that. And terrible things. You know he's telling the truth, because that, that is the black woman starter kit, regardless if it's true or not. And he, you know he's telling the truth. That is the black woman. They need to have me in the court. I'm going to be like, yep. That's the truth. I'm going to be the lie detector. I'm going to be the lie detector. I don't even need no equipment. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know that's what she said. Fuck you, broke ass. That's exactly what. Fuck you, you broke ass bitch. You ain't shit anyway. And, you know, she twist her neck, snatching your dreams. I'm going to go and get my brother. I'm going to go and get my uncle. I'm going to get somebody to fuck you up. That's what they say. The black woman, I'm, I'm tired of you. Starter kit, snatching your dreams out the air. Twisting her neck and saying what she ain't gonna do. Fuck you, you broke ass nigga. That's why your dick little anyway. And all of that shit. That is, oh man. Oh man. This is the most credible witness of the case by far. That's why you, I, I thought you was gay. <laughs> gay, broke, little dick. All of them can be 1000% false. 1,000%, that's why your dick game ain't good. Bitch, you, you lie. Use a lie and the truth ain't in you. Broke, this we, we see women do this online all the time. Broke, little dick, gay. The, that is the black woman assault starter kit. The black woman assault starter kit. That dude is not lying. Yes. Did you start saying some terrible things back to her? Yes, I was saying things back to her. <laughs> why, why <laughs> what did you, you say? I mean, cuz I'm obviously frustrated that it even got to the point where she broke my phone. Like, I want to see what he said back to her. There's one thing that you're hearing me, but you broke my phone. Like, I don't think that was right. Did the fight spill out of the room? Yes. And what happened after that? Um, I thought she was leaving, but when she came out of my room, it's a, she, she makes a right. That'll be where my living room is. And uh, she goes to my PlayStation 4. Oh. And it up and slams it and break. She went for the gusto. Women know that the overwhelming majority of the guys, it's not enough to just break your phone because Apple ain't sure that they're gonna give you another phone. All right, you got you got coverage. You got Apple Care Plus. You good on that? And your stuff is backed up to the cloud. So as soon as you get a new phone, it's just gonna download. Shout out to Wyatt. I'm definitely gonna be reading that super chat shortly. But boy, when they really want to go for your heart. They're going to go for your gaming system. The Xbox and the PlayStation 4, they're going to go for your gaming system. This hoe is a terrorist. This chick is a terrorist. She's looking for the thing that can hurt him the most because she has nothing against him. Because that ain't your man. That ain't your husband. Get, just get the fuck out. Fix that. Did the police ever take that or, or take pictures of it to your knowledge? Not to my knowledge, no. Completely smashed. Correct. Did you did you try stopping her or you couldn't? 
Nah, she like she beat me to it. Like she did it fast at that moment. So she beat you to it. Recovered in your opinion from whatever. Most definitely. Most definitely. Where was uh, Daryl or DJ at this point? When a dude say most definitely, he ain't say yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. He said most definitely. That nigga ain't told one lie on the stand today. He has not told one lie. Not one. Not one lie today. Um, I think after PlayStation was smashed, that's when he came out the door and was like watching us. Out of his room? Yes. He's already in the house at this point. Yes. So, to the best of your knowledge, what, what happens after the PlayStation gets broken? After the PlayStation gets more broken, um, me and her are going back and forth at each other. I'm saying things to her. She's saying things to me. How about physical force? Um, not at that time. Um, horrible things. Just yeah, just horrible things being said. And she's walking. Yeah, she's walking out. I'm following her. And then I remember us being outside at one point. Did you ever tell her to leave? Uh, yes, I did tell her to leave. I I don't remember. I just remember I told her to leave. In the house? Nah, he told her to get the fuck out of my house. E and she was calling him broke. Trying to put all of his financial business out there. Probably, I don't I don't know. Stained. Where, where did you ask her to leave? Do you remember? I, I can't recall. Right, how about your brother? Did he ever ask her to leave? Yes, he, he did. When was that? Um, I would say that was probably like after the fact. Um, when you see like on the doorbell cam when I, when she was hitting me and stuff and he got in between us, it was like, Dominique, just leave. So let's talk about that. How, how did y'all wind up going outside? Um, she was on the process of leaving and I was following behind her, still yelling at her. She's yelling at me. And then I remember I told her, um, go back inside and get her bottle. And, uh, when I went back to that's his one mistake. Go back inside and get your bottle. She probably was drinking Ciroc, you know, Hennessy. Hennessy, it's a stronger possibility that it's Hennessy. Go get your bottle, man. She drinking Henny. Shout out to Blaze Skywalker. I'm going to be reading Super Chat shortly. To the door, I uh, basically tried to open the door. The door was locked. So that's how we got to that point. Brother locked you guys out. Yes. He's tired of it. <laughs> Smart yes. brother. All right. Does he open the door for you? Yes, he opened the door. What we saw in the video, is that what happened? Yes. All right, what happens when y'all get inside? Um, she goes and grabs her bottle. And um, at that time, my brother's still in between us. I want to know what kind of bottle it was. I'm going to need the prosecution or, the, or the, whoever this attorney is that's cross-examining him, his, his attorney. I'm going to need him to tell me what kind of bottle it is so we can, because all context matters. And she's going outside, and I go back outside. Still yelling at her, going back and forth. Yelling back at you? Yes. Any more physical violence at this point? No, not at that point. What happens then? And then after that, um, I remember she, like right before she got to her car, I told her she's just mad because Kyla looks better than her and her body looks better than her naturally. <laughs> This man is telling the truth. He's telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth. He says, you're just mad because that girl looked better than you and she got a better body than you. And she do things that you can't physically even possibly imagine doing because she knows yoga. That's what he said. You just, you just mad, man, because this girl looked better than you and she, she got better head than you. And her body better than yours, and she cuter than you, and she more flexible than you, and I fucked her yesterday. He destroyed that home. That's why he in jail. That is the very reason why he in jail. He not in jail for no other reason than to say that one statement right there. That one statement is why she went and got her friends and her brothers or whatever it is. That one statement is why she, why he in jail. That right there. And I sent her to a rage. She um 
came back. My brother, he's like, sent her into a rage. That's what he said. It sent her into. A, she blacked the fuck out after he said that to her. Pushing me back type thing, but she went back to where he's like the palm tree. It has bricks around it, and that was like near my car. So she went back and she had grabbed a brick mm. and she went to pick it up as if she was gonna throw it at my car. And Did she throw it? No, she didn't throw it. Um, me and my brother got there in time to get the brick brick from out of her hand. And what happened? She lost it at that point. It was over. It was over. Once you told her that you don't look as good as the other chick and her head is better than yours and she do yoga, that's it. That's it. It's it's done. That relationship is done. It's nothing that you can do to come back from that. That hoe is in a rage. She blacked out. She's not even her no more. It ain't no Snickers you can give her. She's not her no more. And after you guys just got the brick from her hand. After that, she was still swinging on me. Look, there's women in the chat saying that even pissed them off. Look at Sandy. Sandy said that even pissed me off. I'm telling you, that's the one thing that black women can't take. Whatever, man. You just mad because she looked better than you. Ooh -wee. And he not wrong. You can't say he wrong for that because she just threw his PlayStation and broke his phone. Well, that she started swinging on me, and then she like took the bottle that I believe it was in her purse, and she took the bottle and she like hit me on my head with it. Tequila bottle? Yes, the Patron bottle. I knew it. Where were any Patron, Casamigos, all of that? Patron, the black that that man ain't told one lie. He has not told one lie on the stands. Not one. Everything he's saying, I confirm it. I wasn't there, but I know it's true. Everything he's saying is true. She got the whole black woman starter kit. Grab your phone, FaceTime and the girl. You ain't shit. That's why you broke. Got the Patron bottle. Throwing shit. Go in there. Break his PlayStation. That, that, listen. Every man, 75% in America has experienced some level of trauma like this. Every, 75%, I'm not one of them, 75% of men in America have experienced a level of trauma like this. 75%. Ladies, 75% of men in America have experienced a level of PTSD and still having withdrawals because of stuff that they experienced like this. Where hit you on the head, do you remember? It was like on my right side because she was like in the right, right in front of me. And to the right of me, so. Top of your head? Yes, the top of, top of my head. Right well, show us approximately where it was. So. Like, in this area. Beat that nigga over the Scalp. head. Patron. Yes. Top of your right ear? Yes. Were you able to brace yourself or block it? Yes, I, I, I seen it coming, so I braced myself. <laughs> you block it or no? Um, I blocked most of it, but I did get hit, though. What happened when you got hit? Um, that, nigga, that hoe tried to take you out, nigga. She tried to kill you. That's attempted murder. That's attempted murder. She tried to hit you over the head with a fucking Patron bottle, bro. That's DJ was like, all right, Dominique, like, you, you went way too far. So she eventually goes back to her car. DJ said and you know what the worst part about this whole situation is that this is just one of many times that I'm sure that this type of stuff didn't play it out and happen. This is what happens when you trauma bond. What? Like, you went way too far. Like, just leave. I'm telling you, Dominique, leave. Okay. Shout out to Rod. DJ getting upset? That's right. Yes, he was upset. You know if DJ ever got hit while he was in the middle of you two? Um, I I can't tell you that. I don't know. Did you get hit numerous times that night? Yes. Did you ever hit Dominique at all? No, not one time. Try to restrain her from stopping to hit you? Yes, most definitely. And was your car window broken at that point? No. So your phone, your PlayStation, anything else broken that you remember? No, that was that was the only two things. Heart, probably. Yes. And was this pretty much the breakup? No, his heart wasn't broken. Man, listen, we so used to the. This is one of the things I'm gonna talk about. We're so used to the dysfunction with women, black women specifically. Yo, men are so used to the dysfunction that this is just normal. This is not even anything out. When we hear this type of stuff, we laugh at it. That's how you know that we used to it. We're used to and we're desensitized to the idea of what assault really is things have gotten so ass backwards to where it's normal for a woman to call a man out of his name verbally assaulting physically assaulting and then we've 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 subjected ourselves to it for so long that people tell us that we should just hold her and shake her
This is insane. Reading Super Chat. Yes. I think that was the end of it? Uh, yes, I thought it was the end of it. Before Dominique left, did she ever make any threats to you and, and uh, out loud? Yes, um, she pretty much was saying, I'm going to have my brother to, brother to them to come over here and fuck you up and kill you. Yep, that's what she That was just the gist of what she was saying. You ever talk like that before? That that is it. Listen, this man has not told one lie. He has not told one lie. I'm going to have my brothers come over here and fuck you up. And instead of the brothers, they simps too. The brothers are simps too. So the brothers is going to pull up on this nigga. They simps too. Instead of them holding her accountable, hey, what the fuck you didn't got yourself into? What you over there doing? You broke his PlayStation? Nah, sit your ass down. Instead of the brothers, they simping. They used to be in simps, probably was raised by a single mother. Now they got to go and pull up on this nigga for D. Dumb motherfuckers, bro. No. F you up and kill you. No, she never talked like that before. Oh, but this night before she left, she said that? Yes. How many times? Do you remember? Um, numerous times. Did you take it serious? Um, no, not at all. You wish you did? Yes. Any reason why you didn't call the police on her? Um, just, I love her. Be normal, cause we like used say, to, because we're used to it. We're used to the trauma, getting hit in the head with a fucking Patron bottle, chicks picking up the first thing that they can throw at you and then tearing your phone up, destroying your video game. That's how I know that this is the Black Woman Starter Kit. We're used to this. This is not anything new. What he's experiencing is what black men all over America, it's a black man right now, probably three. You know how they say every hour one person gets domestically assaulted or something like that? There is a man right now that is getting his video game broken. It's a man right now that is getting his game broken and his phone thrown. Right this minute, he probably somewhere over in Brickle. And then he's going to turn into a super incel, and then y'all going to be pissed at him and say, who hurt you? You did. Reading Super Chat shortly. Shout out to Blaze. I don't think it was that serious to call the police. I just felt like she was just upset and emotional. So I just felt like it wasn't no need to call the police. You didn't want to get her in trouble? No. Trying to save these hoes from themselves. You never paid for your broken items or anything like that, right? No. Nope. She ain't got no money. So did you figure that was the last time you were going to see her? Correct. Did she drive away? Yeah, she drove away to my knowledge. We're going to have a hell of a Wednesday night tonight. After I go and get my root canal and I let myself heal and I take a little nappy nap. Oh, we gonna cook tonight on the Anton Daniels channel. We gonna cook tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on the Anton Daniels channel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be heartbreaking, and some and some tables being moved around based off of what it is that we gonna cook up tonight because we gonna deal with this drama. We gonna deal with what it is that we've normalized in our community as love. That's not love. That's called assault.